perfect mode. Doing damage to enemies will fill your party's momentum meter over time. When the momentum meter is full, your party enters perfect mode and can unleash a powerful attack. Yeah. They can. Am I going to? No. <laughs> Why should I? I'll tell you why I shouldn't. I should use that on, like, boss battles. On battles that are important, not against a band of wargs. When I'm fighting against the Balrog on the bridge of Castle Doom, then maybe we'll talk. But here against two goddamn wargs, I don't even have perfect mode enabled yet. But here against two wargs, you better believe I am not going to use my perfect mode. Even if I did have it right now. All right. So yes, if you couldn't tell, this game uses clips from the movies and the music from the movies. And since I no longer really care about YouTube's policy on things, I'm not worried about if these get flagged because I love this game, and I'm playing it, and if it gets flagged for copyright and I could never make any money off this game, oh fucking well, I don't give a damn. I care that I can play the game. That's what's important. More strength. And Israel got a new sword. Yeah, I worried when I s was starting my YouTube channel that like playing this game, it's, it's got all of the goddamn music from the movies. Even the background music is just ba 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 ba. It's Lord of the Rings, so it's like oh, I always feared that it would get flagged and I could never make any money off it. But since YouTube changed its policy to thousand subscribers, don't have to worry about it. Okay. Thanks for that cutscene. Completely necessary. <laughs> what brings you out here? I'll tell you later. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks for playing. Walking around looking for something to do. So, this game tries, it tries real hard to cram in all of your nostalgia for Lord of the Rings. Like, I love Lord of the Rings. Really, I do. I love this game. Really, I do. This location does not exist in the movies. Right? If I if I told you, look, we're, here, we're someplace from the movies, could you tell me where we were? No. If I go over here, the game will try and tell me. I see you have found our campsite. Bullshit! That is not the same place! Yes, we did shelter here from Bullshit! South, but to no avail. His spy spotted us miles away. Yeah! Miles away from here? Certainly weren't here. This game does its best. Really, it does. I love it. But I that is not the same location. Forsaking the easy southern route for the more dangerous passage over the mountains. And how'd that work out for you? The White Wizard held other plans, and that route was denied us. Yeah. Know this, Gondorian. We are not far ahead of your brave company. Really? That makes no sense. If, like, how how far in it, how far ahead could they have been that Denethor would have decided to send Barathor out to go find Boromir? Like, would he have waited like a week? That they week ahead of us? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> But anyways, follow the Fellowship to Moria. I, I'm not at Moria, so the quest can't be completed, but all right. You say so, game. Yeah. And also, I mean, I mean, the game tries to tell you, tell you that this is that location that, you know, that they camped here and everything. With a goddamn troll right in the, in the fucking background, like within walking distance of their camp that there was one of Mr. Bilbo's trolls? I don't think so. Barathor, Third Age, Lothlorien, Ring of Spirit Warding. 
and party got the troll pit mud. See, this is one of those. That as long as I don't move, it doesn't progress. The Eye of Sauron. So I'm gonna equip Barathor with his new ring. Congratulations, Barathor! Did you get married? Okay. And now, run! Run for your lives! You might just make it! Ah! We didn't make it. Oh, hi! Take that! Sometimes it's hard to tell when they're gonna miss, but Elagost has a telltale sign when he's about to, and that looked almost like it. Without the sound effect. The sound effect is different when Bar or when Elagos is about to miss his attacks. Everybody else, I don't see it. But when he does he misses, I can see it in advance. Much like in the Yu-Gi-Oh! game, whenever anybody was missing, it's like, oh, the enemy didn't react to the attack. Like that. I can tell before the attack was over that it's like, oh you missed. Boom! Wounding strike! Nice! And a crit. That one's dead. Good job. Drops of Valinor. All right. And because not everybody leveled up, let's just, you know, save again just to make sure that we are at full. We'll be good. Be real good. And Adriel. Adds more spirit. Oh yeah, then some some locations as you le as you get towards the edge of a map, uh, you'll reach the point of no return where the attacks will just stop. Like the the eye of Sauron will disappear because it's like, oh, you're leaving the mayor area. Fight will no longer come to you. So, Lambus bread. I'm tired of Lambus bread. We've been eating it for days, weeks even. Ah, yes. Everybody remembers this set of ruins that the Fellowship reached right after that camp on their way to Moria. Yeah. It's the light altar. The oh, Jesus! I was just trying to go to the chest, didn't realize the palantir was that full. Oh, and here is the battle that can kick your ass if you're not prepared for it. So you'll see that there is a guy continues to damage your phone. That sounds great. So there's a guy up in the background there. Wow! I continued to damage him until he died! So, only ranged units, Elagost and Idriel using her spirit attacks, can reach this orc archer rabble. <coughs> so if you're not, uh, paying attention, and you use somebody else, like Barathor a lot, or if Barathor is the last one alive against that archer, you're screwed. You can't win. Kind of sucks, but I said that that attack uh, that that battle sucks, but I'm forgetting that it's not actually that battle. It's a battle that's very similar to that, and it's in evil mode. So evil mode is a real fun thing where you get to turn the tables. See, the palantir was not that full. I knew it. So at the end of Eregion here. This is the first area of the game. When we beat, when we get through Eregion, we move on to Moria. And once we move on to Moria, evil mode will be unlocked for Eregion. <clears throat> where we can go back in and we can fight as that bat, that group of orcs. As well as, um, another group of orcs. And another group of orcs. And I think another group of orcs. And a ring wraith, and the watcher in the water. 
and then you unlock items for the party. So, that's the battle I was thinking of. It's that one where it's like, hey, if I take out Elagos and Idriel, Barathor can't do shit to me. Because I'm on the other end of it where I'm playing as the orcs. You're dead. Good job. Experience is starting to get a little low. I mean, you know, like, our experience doesn't automatically level us up each battle like it did before. More Lambus. It's always the Lambus with these people. Up the damn stairs. Yeah, you gotta get up to get down, or gotta get down to get up. I had to go down to go around, and oh, can I get to that chest before the Palantir fills? Yes. Yes, I can. Edge bark, and I'm gonna try this way. Ah, uh, 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 uh. oh, yeah, it's the staircase. Okay. Well, our path goes that way, but the altar is right here. Ah! There's the fight! What a surprise! Hi, boys! How you doing? You're dead. That's how you're doing. And how about you? <clears throat> you are also dead. Hey, look! We reached perfect mode! Why not? I can tell. Because of the ring! The ring shows up. But I will not waste a goddamn perfect mode on a single fucking orc. Maybe I'll troll later. Down the line. That's the other thing that's in the evil mode is the troll. Forgot about that. Elagos got some Duna Jane tan leather under, under braces. Oh yes, Elagos story here. What are you doing? You want to be sure they're good, they're and, good dead. and dead. Some are mighty hard to kill. They're orcs. They're not hard to not kill at all. Sacred places are safe. How do I know I can trust this one? I vouch for him. <laughs> In the name of the Lady of the Galadrum. That is good right. enough for me. That is good enough, How yeah. do I know I can trust you? And who are you? you? Those wounds? At the hands of a Mordor orc, whose life I intend to shorten considerably. Really? Find many Mordor the orcs in a region? We were attacked by goblins. We? we? With the orc, who escaped with something of great value to me. Who is this we, Ranger? I was in the company of a dwarf. Yeah. A friend, actually. Yep. And what did this orc take from you? A key. Or a map. Something. You help me slay him, and you shall find out. Right. You rangers from the north are full of riddles. <laughs> and who are you to speak for a ruler of elves? You must help me return to Lothlorien and warn the Lady Galadriel of these dangers. Because that'll happen, happen in this game. You know, we will we we'll reach Lothlorien. If what I did to him... That orc would be in need of healing himself. Come then he can Lord. heal at an elven altar? To my matters in due course. Okay. Barathor's is like, whatever people, I belong for the ride, I guess. You guys have your secret bullshit. Did we follow? Oh, yeah, we did. Sorry. Getting with the drums there. You have found a place where the ancient spirits of air, fire, earth, and water... And don't forget heart! World. Captain this Planet! Sorry. Some beings glide through the airs around you. Time like the eagles! Wide. God, the eagles. Mighty forces also stir the deep. It can still be called upon in times of great need. Like the goddamn water stallions or the water in the water. Of fire and light. The Balrog. After this realm, and are held by the wise as the most potent. Don't forget darkness. Yeah. The good old Balrog. Of the earth yet animate the living wood of this world. Like the ends. The mystery of life. And the, if you're wondering about light, like Gandalf. <laughs> Swing. within their craft, their weapons, and their vision. Yeah, because I'm going to get stuff like that. measure of the gods. A living gift that has endured through many ages. 
You act like the Lothorians are gonna give me the same sort of gifts. A good bow, a good sword. That's not gonna happen. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna come up to this altar here. And I'm gonna go, oh look, a thing, elf stones. Elf stones are elven artifacts that can improve attributes, skills, and resistances. Each character can equip, can equip up to four elf stones. Found artifact one of four. Elf stone, cracked elf stone of action enhancement. It's cracked. It's not even fully intact, it's garbage. What is this pearl of garbage? So this equipment gets added to everybody. So you see it's new equipment for everyone. Slightly increases action point values. So who has the lowest action points? 180, 171, 138. Oh no, he's also got the Dunedain thing. Yeah, the brace. Oh God, those are way too bright for that outfit. <laughs> just saying, sorry. It just looks bad. All right. I don't have too much fashion sense, but that's one thing I can tell is like that. Oh my God. Too many colors. Can we get into a fight? Come on, fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Before I get to my next cutscene. Come on. Fight me. Thank you. Hello. And goodbye. Well, you're still alive, but not for long. I said goodbye. There we go. Ta da! Don't shoot me. I'll shoot you back. Because that's the only thing I can do right now. Oh, damn! Even his base attack damage can kill one of the orcs. Good job. And that's why I wanted a fight. And you could use some more speed. When I don't think of anything else that they need, I can give some points to what they have the lowest of. Where's my cutscene? Man, it's gonna get there before so the chest, isn't it? Yep, there it is. What happened back there in the pass? It was a bewitched fight. Voices echoing down from the mountain. So you were in the area when Saruman struck all around us. He ruckled, the yeah. Fought like one possessed, <laughs> and a landslide carried him away. Before he fell, he gave me a map. Presented to him by Elrond of Rivendell as a gift. So a friendship. He was there? At the Council of Elrond? The dark or was he the another dwarf that was invited to Elrond's council? Or at least Elrond's... Home. The map away. Bastard! Down the mountain. We will find that orc and that we will slay him. Revealed the location of the secret entrance to a forgotten realm. Moria. Moria. Yes. The greatest so, city of the dwarves. The door. Was lost during the Great Wars. The, they the already. Halls are rumored to still be stalked by a terrible monster. And what of the dwarf? If that map leads us to Moria's hidden gate, I expect we shall find him nearby. So you mean the gate? More than a few goblins to stop that dwarf. Do you, you mean the gate that you know, the 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 watcher in the water, kind of destroyed? You know the gate that. Spent like half an hour in front of the, the fellowship. Did you know? Sitting there going, "What's the password? Speak friend and enter." Uh, I don't know. I will lay open to you Moria's secrets. Yeah, you open the door. The door was open. Lies along an old elven road that carried trade between Hollin and Moria. Uh huh. At the walls of Moria, invisible dwarf doors bar western entry. Even their own creators cannot find them if their secret is forgotten. So we needed a map for that? But should the gates be I mean, if we're following the fellowship, the there's no problem finding the it. 
We just follow the fellowship and they'll lead us right to it. To the other gate will not be an easy one. Should foul creatures still prowl those halls. Right. Pippin. If I were you, I would track our party and follow behind. Should we master the gates of Moria? Oh, that was supposed to be those the light temple. I get it now. That was the light temple that we were just at. I can't turn my map up that I think my 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 camera angle that high to look at it again, but yeah, it looks just like it. See, Gandalf had the wits to go around the damn thing. We had to go through it and have to fight some damn orcs. We're idiots. All right. Uh, woods. Learning new skills. Successfully using a skill in battle earns skill points that are automatically applied to learning the next skill in the same category. Use the skill in the menu to select the skill in each category that you would like to learn next. I just let it roll on its own. Hey, look! Here is supposedly the actual location of the... Mr. Bilbo's trolls, but there's still only two of them, so it's still not fucking possible. Get it right, game. Three trolls, all in one location. Ooh, shattered, battered steel helm. Cover that ugly mug. There, now he most certainly does not look like Leon Kennedy. He's no more Leon, or medieval Leon. So, this one always confused me because that looks like a Lothlorien style building. That is clearly not Lothlorien, or if it is, that's a very disappointing Lothlorien. One single tree with a staircase. It's a weak ass attempt at Lothlorien. This game has a lot of ground to cover, so I can understand them, you know, deciding to take things and make them pretty small in comparison so that they can fit it all in. But we don't need to have Lothlorien if that's all it's going to be. Like, Helm's Deep's a pretty big map. I remember that. Oh god, camera change! Yeah. Uh, can I get up this staircase in one try without running into too many walls? Oh no, a Palantir! I want that chest. Do it. Ah, damn it. Always try and always fail. Stupid scripted events. Take this. Love it. And this. So much power. Huzzah. Look at all that tiny amounts of experience. Barathor got some stuff. One of two light altars cleared of enemies. Didn't know that was a quest either. Barathor's got some boots. Before he was apparently just barefoot. Even though he wasn't. Defy Shadow Vile. What if I don't want to defy Shadow? What if I want to embrace the Shadow? Found artifact two of four. Cracked Elf Stone of Health Enhancement. Who's got some low health? 603, 475, 494. Idriel, you're the winner! Equip that for now. Trust me, it's good for your health. Those cracked Elf Stones of Crap Enchantments or enhancements, I should say, uh, will very soon be replaced by much more potent elf stones, polished elf stones, not cracked. And some of them will even get uh, elf stones of certain abilities that give them new skills. Oh, I don't have any to show off. Like, it doesn't have anything. I have to actually unlock them before they show up in everybody's learning trees. Leaf Volt, Toby. Okay. Oh, and by the way, this... 
So clearly, if you've been paying attention to how the map has all gotten turned around, this is supposed to be the same elven outpost from earlier. You see, there's the open chest. This is the elven outpost that we ended episode one at. Where I saved and then went on and fought the elven caravan, or defended the elven caravan over there and got killed afterwards. So this is now the top of that. So we're just going around in damn circles. Just so you're aware. The game likes to do that a lot. So I went from the light altar, 2% of the game complete, to the elephant outpost walkway, still at 2% of the game complete. Search the area, make sure there's no chests. And head on through to the marshy licking areas. Ah, yes. The water temple. Damn it. <clears throat> My least favorite is Elven Temples. Oh, hi, murder of crows. Hate you. Holy shit, do I hate you so much. 250 damage, that's a lot of damage for you to do. Murder that boy. Murder him now. Drown him. Slaughter him. Greater damage to orcs. You're an orc. Die. So you can never do that again. Orc sword veteran or orc sword warrior. One sword, two swords. Two swords it is. Kill that one. Lightning fast. Oh no. They've suddenly gotten stronger. A lot stronger. Well, maybe not a lot stronger, but they're definitely different. More powerful enemies. Note to everyone. Barathorn needs uh, some spirit defense badly if he took 250 damage from that first guy's attack. That's just bad. Next level up on Barathor. Give AP defense. Not Adriel. Oh, she got her other part. She got the top. All light altars cleared of enemies. This doesn't seem like a light altar. It seems like a water altar. Adriel, give some more health. Oops, oops, hit the wrong button. And you get your new armor that you pretty much keep for like the rest of the game. So much of this game, you just have this armor because it's better than everything else or you don't get anything else. I don't remember which. Found artifact three or four. Cracked elf zone of water protection. Does anybody? Does anybody even do any water damage to? Wait, I know. <laughs> I was about to say nobody does water damage to us. There's one creature in this entire game that does water damage, and I'd like Elagos to live through it. <clears throat> King's foil. That's a weed. Okay, and now into the marshy areas of Eregion. Wait a second, doesn't this look familiar? Doesn't this kind of look like when I turned around at the very beginning of the game, there was a chest on the other side of a, a, an impassable cliff? Like this chest here? My god! We're completely making circles. That's where we started the game at. Which makes no goddamn sense. Because I was traveling down a road, wasn't I? So how was Barathor traveling down that road when we started the game on the other side of this cliff? Did the bridge fall out right behind us? Did Idriel do that with her water stallion when she attacked the Nazgul? Just tear up the bridge? That stallion's more powerful than I thought. And clearly you guys can tell that I'm just, uh, you know, avoiding this battle for as long as I possibly can just by ranting for five minutes. 
All right, let's get on. <laughs> I, I mean, I just love to do stuff like that. It's fun. Oh, shit. No, not sword things. Use your loud water fury. One shot, one kill. Did the audio cut out for anybody else there, or was it just me? They got really quiet for a minute. Weird. Oh, Arc Strike. Or oh, Arc Bane. Ooh, counterattack! Nice! Oh, not the Fell Blades! Anything but the Fell Blades! So now, Barathor can counter! So when anybody targets him for an attack, he has a chance. A fighting back. Ooh, Arrow Flurry! That's the best move! Well, for right now. <laughs> that is Elago's best move in quite some time. Yeah, you see, counterattack doesn't actually show up on our list. It's a passive move. So, anybody attacks Barathor, he has a chance of attacking back. So, it works perfectly. <laughs>